Shalom, first and foremost, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the Apostle Great Millstone and citates you brothers pushing the word and truth and sincerity. I just wanted to get into a quick lesson. Basically, um, as we get closer to the end, you know, some I was meditating about that uh, these trials and tribulations that we're going to go through is going to get that much harder. So as, as we're going through these trials and tribulations, um, we must remember to keep the faith and to walk in the spirit, man. Okay? We must walk more in the spirit and kill more of the flesh. Kill more of this flesh off, man. All right? So I'm going to grab a couple of precepts, hit the point, and um, hopefully just lessen this edifying, all right? So this is uh, 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 12. It says, Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial which is to try you, as though some strange thing happened unto you. All right? So don't think it's strange when you start to go through certain trials and tribulations, man. All right? It tell you in Sirach, the second chapter, the first verse, it says, when you, my son, when you come into the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. All right? And if, you, if you've been paying attention to the signs and what's going on, okay, it's, we're, it's clearly evident that we're approaching the end, man. And it's coming very rapid, man. And, and, and the farther we come to the end, the more temptations is going to come. The more uh, 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 the demon is going to fuck with you. Okay? More things are going to uh, uh, just come up, man. So we must arm ourselves with what? With these scriptures. We must be fully armed, man. You know, with the armor of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, having this word fully in our minds, man. All right? First Peter chapter 4, verse 1. For as much then as Yahweh Shai have suffered for us in the flesh, arm yourselves likewise with the same mind. For he that have suffered in the flesh have ceased from sin. So, we have to arm myself with the same mind, all right? Which, um, Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai gave us the spirit, man, okay? He gave us the spirit with these scriptures. The Lord gave us, uh, this is our wisdom, this is our knowledge to the other, in the sight of the other nations, man, all right? And we must remember these scriptures, all right? Being wise as serpents and harmless as doves, man, all right? Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai gave us... The blueprint to to uh to basically maneuver in this present evil world, man. And we must use our knowledge, man. All right, and not forsake it. Okay. This is uh Philippians two and five. It said, "Let this mind be in you, which was also in Yahweh Shai Hamashiach." So we got to have these scriptures in your mind, man. You know, everything uh as your daily walk through life, as we walk, you know, wherever you at. You always contemplating the scriptures, man. You know, you're constantly uh, filtering everything out through the scriptures. And if you and if you're walking in the spirit, all right, which is the scriptures, you won't fulfill the lust of the flesh, man. All right, because you're being guided by the spirit. It's uh, Sirach eighteen and thirty. It says, "Go not after thy lust." But refrain thyself from thine appetites, you know? And that's part of killing our flesh off, man. You know, we have to put, as we get close to the end, man, we have to walk more circumspectly, all right? You know, killing this flesh off, you know? Staying in the spirit. Paying attention to what you're doing. Walking circumspectly. Looking around. Paying attention, you know? Seeing things before it happened. That's being in the spirit, man. All right, not being lackadaisical or slothful or careless of what you're doing because the days are evil, man. This is uh, Ephesians 5 and 15. See then that you, that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. You know, being circumspect, you're looking around, you're constantly um, thinking you're, you're in the spirit, you're praying constantly, you know. You're asking the Lord to guide you, you know. You're watching your steps, man. You're, you're pondering, you're uh, letting the scriptures filter everything you're doing, man. You know, verse 16. 
It says, redeem of the time because the days are evil. And we're living in evil times, man. This is the year of death and destruction, man, and also diligence. Okay, so we must walk circumspectly, not giving ourselves over to our lusts, but killing this flesh more and more, man, being numb to this world as we as we're approaching that day because it's coming quickly, man. And, and, and um, like the scripture said, Thessalonians, uh, brethren, you have no need to be right uh, unto you. For you know well, very well, um, roughly paraphrasing, what time and season it is, man. You brothers know what time it is out here, man. You know, we're approaching them days. And as we're approaching them days, my first, myself first and foremost, we must kill his flesh. We must be more in the spirit. And we must walk more circumspectly, man. You know, verse 17, it says, Wherefore, be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. And what's the will of the Lord? To push this word, man, keeping this word first. You know, feeding the sheep. You know, going out there to, on the highways and the byways, pushing this word. All right? Doing the videos. Building up brothers in your camp. Breaking bread. Having charity. All right, which the greatest charity is uh, giving the brother this word, man, directly and correctly. All right, and having diligence to make your calling election sure, man. All right, because we're at the end. This is it, man. All right, so we must arm ourselves likewise as Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai did. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. All right, the same way Yahweh Shai armed itself with the mind, we must arm ourselves likewise, man. You know, it says, verse 18, and be not drunk with wine wherein is access, but be filled with the spirit. Now, there's nothing wrong with uh, drinking wine, you know, but it's talking about different doctrines, man. All right. You have to be fully persuaded that this is the truth. You can't be wavering, man. Having doubts, you know. Because once you have a little doubt creep in, that's when that demon of doubt will creep in and try to take over your mind, man. All right? You have to be fully sober and understand that this is the truth. If the Lord has opened your, uh, led you to the Apostle Great Millstone, which is the correct doctrine, which are the teachers of Israel, all right? Then you stick to that, man. You pray to the Lord, Yahweh Hashem, I was sighted, that he continue and open your mind up to the parables, man, and to guide you to the, to the correct way. You know, and, and and you pray to him for strength because these days are evil, man. So you have to walk circumspectly, brothers, and redeem the time, you know, kill off the flesh and be more in the spirit, man. You know, this is the time to uh to be um, loosening up. This is the time to be tightening up, man. And that goes for myself first and foremost. We got to tighten up and walk circumspectly, man, but not as fools, you know, so. That's basically the point. As the as the day evil day is approaching, you know, Jacob's trouble, we must tighten up and be more in the spirit and kill off more of this flesh, man. You know, and stay armed with the scriptures. All right? Because this is all we need is uh, the faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, this word, all right? And believe in it, man. Not wavering, not doubting. Having our full trust in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man, that He's gonna accomplish what He says He's gonna do. So, hopefully, this lesson was edifying, you know, and uplifting. And um, with that, shalom.